All right, in order for us to take this project and make it available for other people to see it, and maybe they want to download and experiment as well with this project, we have to do one thing. So here, what I want you to do first is to open up terminal or command line if you are on Windows, new terminal, and I want you to say pip, and then three, uninstall, and then Python dash docs, and then say Y for yes, and also say pip, and then three, uninstall, and then pi, and then T, T, S, X, and then three, and then enter, say yes, or Y actually. And now try and run the program. So you can see that this is giving me an error and it says module not found, right? And this is because we removed the package. So if you were to send this project to a friend of yours, they would need to download those two packages manually, right? And what we want is to make it easy for them to install those packages with one single command. So to do that, what we're going to do is to use a file called requirements.txt. And then we're going to have all of the packages that this application needs. And then we just have to run one single command to download the packages specified in that file. So open up the Explorer tab, and then in here, let's create a new file, and then here, name it as requirements.txt. And inside of this package, and let me just close this for now, inside of this file, we want to have the packages that this application depends on. So we depend on Python, Oops, so Python dash and then docs and then equals equals and then the version. So the version that we were using was 0 0.8 point and then 10. And we also depend on, so in, on a new line, so pi t t s x and then 3 equals equals 2.90. So make sure you have the exact same thing here as I have. Now let's save this file and then close it. And to test this, let's again run the application. And you can see that no module name docs, fine. So what we're gonna do is if I close the Explore tab and then here, what we're gonna do is say at the bottom, we're going to say pip and then three, install minus r and then requirements dot txt now press enter and you can see that it, it's using the um it's it's used the dependencies inside of requirements dot txt to go and download the dependencies so now you can see that if you send this application to someone else all they have to do is just run this command and then that will pull all of those libraries into the project, which then means that we can run the application. So if I click on play, you can see that we have what is your name right here. I'm going to say Eber. Hello Eber, how are you today? And what is your phone number? And you can see that it's working as before. So there you have it. This was pretty much the last thing that we needed to do with this project. Next, let's take this application and then store it somewhere where you can showcase it as your portfolio.